Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is, goodness, what day is it? I think it's the 19th or 20th of October, um, and November is right around the corner, so I wanted to come in and just lay down my stickers and get my setup ready for all of my November budgeting. Um, so that includes my monthly overview as well as my November budget stickers, debt tracker, sinking funds, transaction, weekly check-in, and probably one or two of my paycheck-to-paycheck check-ins. So if you guys are interested in watching me lay down all these stickers and see how I set up my budget um, on a monthly basis, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is set up my monthly overview. So I am using the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Uh, this is a 7x9 and it is in the neutral color pattern. I really love the neutral. I love the new designs of these planners compared to last year's. There's just a few different tweaks. Um, so I really like the planner that I'm in. Um, to do my monthly overview, um, I am going to be using my November Neutral Dot Sticker Kit as well as the Budget Kit. And then I'm also going to be using my new um, foiled stickers. I have a little rose gold piggy bank, um, some paydays, I have a combination uh, household bill due, and then I have some regular bill due stickers. Um, I also, so this is like I said, the one of the themes for November is neutral dot, so that is this one here. I love the colors. I also have, this was for September, but I actually used it for November. I also have the fall leaves uh, theme here, so that's the monthly overview. Um, so you can just kind of see the pattern, the budget, debt tracker, sinking fund transaction weekly check-in and then that's how the paycheck to paycheck budgets look like so like I said you can either get November's in the neutral dot or the fall leaves both are available on my website which is www.morijune.com so I'm going to go ahead and get started here with the monthly overview I love laying down these stickers it just completely changes the look of the planner. Um, I am a sticker planner. I think that the use of stickers makes it look a lot more pretty and especially when you're budgeting you tend to it tends to be a little difficult to stay with it especially if you've been doing it for quite some time. Um, so I feel that using stickers makes it look more pretty. Um, and that's how I find that I stick with it more. So that is how I lay down that top washi. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side with this second washi here. And it does come with the days of the week. So you just cover that portion. That way it gets rid of any of the colors also. I'll open that up so you guys can see it. So that is how just the top two pieces look like. So it just already changed it so much and I really like the neutral. That way you don't have the bright colors that may interfere with whatever color theme you have going for the month. Um, I then like to take these smaller thin washies and lay them just right here at the bottom of the monthly overview just for a little something extra and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Get this one laid down and I chose for this planner I chose rose gold for the rings. I am a huge rose gold fan. Um, a lot of things in my home office are rose gold. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to lay down the script stickers 
There's one for Thanksgiving and one for Veterans Day. And then after I do that, I'll lay the date dot covers, um, which I'll fast forward through so you guys don't have to stay here forever watching that. Get the Veterans Day laid down. Perfect. Um, so I will go ahead and get the date dot covers laid. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you. Not asking for more. Okay, and there is the finished project product with the monthly overview sticker kit. I love how it turned out. I love all the colors. Um, I just think it is super pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to lay down my bill due and payday stickers um, for November. I'm going to come back here and grab out a couple extra payday stickers as well that I like to use. I keep all the stickers that I use on a regular basis in the back here um, of my planner. Makes it a little easier. Okay. So we'll get out those ones and those ones. Okay. Perfect. So I have all the stickers that I'm going to use. Um, I think I'm first going to lay down my paydays. So um, most of you know I get paid from my regular paycheck, or regular paycheck, my regular full-time job on Fridays as well as my part-time job. Um, my store comes in on Mondays and then on the 21st will be YouTube or Google AdSense, but since that's a Saturday, it'll probably come in on the 23rd. So I'm first going to start off with these gold foil payday stickers. Um, these are printed on clear sticker paper, so they look just like that. I offer these in gold, rose gold, iridescent, and silver. So we'll just lay that down. Super cute. They're the perfect size to go in a wide variety of different sized planners. Like I said, this one is a 7x9, but they would fit in a multitude of different planners. And I just love how cute they are. So, so super cute. Let's lay that down and then one more. There we go. So there's there are my four Friday paydays. I just love how that looks. The gold foil with the colorful neutral dots. So cute. Okay, so next I'm going to lay down my YouTube payday. I don't have this one in a gold foil. This is just a normal. So like I said, it usually comes in on the 21st, but since that's a Saturday, I'm going to put it here on Monday. I'm going to put that down one. And then um, these are just my own personal shop payday stickers, and those come in on Mondays. So I will go ahead and lay these down for every Monday of the month. And we will have five paydays from my website, and then four of the Friday regular paydays. So we'll get this last one laid down. So there are all of my paydays. I have on my Fridays, my Monday, and my YouTube. And then the next thing I'm going to do is bills. Um, so for the bills, I have... I really think I'm going to have to do this in the gold also rather than the silver. So this is the silver. This is my combo. Um, so you have water, internet, medical bill, trash, house, TV, credit card, student loan, phone, car, gas, and electricity. Um, and this one is in silver, but I think I'm going to have to do it in gold just to match my paydays. Um, so I'm going to hold off on that one for just a second. 
And the next one then that I'm going to do is the regular paydays um, or paydays bill dues. So these are just blank so I can write in what I want for bills that I don't have an actual icon one for. So I will get those going. Okay, I just made some gold foil um, bill due and then the icon household bill due stickers. And this is my absolute favorite part of making the foil stickers. So I thought you guys would enjoy it too. This is so satisfying to remove the foil. You just peel it off and you get the gorgeousness. So this is the gold. I absolutely love it. And then here is the household. So get that peeled off. And there are the gold. I just thought you guys would enjoy that as much as I do. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the household bill do. Um, grab one of my gel pens. Uh, this is an Erin Condren black gel pen. Um, and I'm going to start with internet. Let me just look back here. So internet is due on the, it's actually due on the 4th, but because that was a Sunday, so the 4th this week is a Wednesday. So we'll go ahead and lay that down there. So I'm going to use this one here is the internet. And that is losing my mind here, $59. So we're just going to write there, the pen works really well on it, and then after I get that one paid off, I'll just check that little heart, but that is how it looks. Super cute, so we're going to go ahead and get that laid down here on the 4th. I'm just going to put it towards the bottom of my box. And that is how it looks. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to do um, is the house sticker right here. You can use it as rent, you can use it as mortgage, you can use it as house insurance, anything house related. Um, I'm going to use it as rent. So that is how that looks. That's due on the first. Um, I'm just going to put it here on the second. I normally would go back a day, but back a day would take me back to October. Um, next we'll do phone. And phone is 145 due on the 6th. The, the gel pen really glides well on this clear sticker paper very nicely. So we will get that one peeled off, and like I said, that one is on the 6th, so we'll go ahead and get that one put right down there. I am absolutely loving these foil stickers and the new designs. Um, next, I'm, I did this wrong. That is not supposed to be an internet sticker, that's supposed to be a TV sticker. Now, the bad part about these stickers is they are not removable. <laughs> So I'm going to kind of rip the paper here, but I'm going to cover it back up. I meant to use the TV sticker, not the internet sticker. So that one should be 59. Internet is paid with my business information, which I don't have keep in here. Okay, lay that one down. That kind of covers up that little oops I just made. Um, next... I'm going to do car, which is 612, and that is due on the 29th. And that's a Sunday, so I'm going to bump it up to the 27th. Get that laid down. So pretty. Okay, now the other things I'm going to do is the regular bill dues for icon ones that I don't have here. Um, so we will go ahead and start with my first credit card payment, which is, actually I will use that one, which is Capital One. 
Um, so I'm going to use this credit card icon right there. That's going to be $196. And that's due on the first. Um, so I actually am going to put that on that Sunday. And I just realized, I was just thinking last night, I wonder when Daylight Savings Time is. And that is on November 1st, which actually happens to be my oldest son's birthday. He turns 14. I cannot even believe it. Um, but if you were wondering, and if you're in an area that does Daylight Savings Times and you have to set your clocks back, that is on... November 1st. So I'm not going to cover that up because I would like to know that information. So there's credit card or the first credit card. Um, next I have my daughter's tumbling. So I don't have a tumbling uh, bill due so I'm going to use just the regular ones. And I'm just going to write the category in here which is tumbling. And that's $65. And that is also due on the 1st. The only bad thing about the clear sticker paper, it's just hard to get your finger under it to get it pulled up. So I'm going to put that bill due right there also on the first along with that credit card. And then PayPal is the only other one that I have. I should actually make a PayPal icon uh, bill due sticker. I have had people ask about it before and I've watched several different budgeting YouTube channels and they have PayPal um, credit cards so I should do that but so this is the PayPal bill due um, that I am going to use and I think that is due yeah on the 14th which is a Saturday so we're going to bump it up to that Friday. So that is my, all of my bills for the month in their gold foil prettiness. Um, that's really the only thing left that I do here. I will, as the month goes on, I have these, um, these are in rose gold, but these cute little uh, piggy savings banks. And I take $80 out of my um, paydays on Friday and transfer into a savings account. So I will put those in. Actually, I'm going to put them in now because it's an automatic transfer. I don't do anything with it. It just does it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the little piggies on right now because they're just too cute. Like I said, this is rose gold, but you can't really tell a huge difference from the gold payday and bill due stickers. So we're just going to go with it. One more here. Perfect. So there is our monthly overview. So cute. I absolutely love how it turned out. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is, I have to remember how the layout of this. So I have my monthly overview here for October, and then, okay, so then October budget. Just couldn't remember if I put it here or here. So the November budget is going to go here. So we're going to take a thick washi. And I'm going to lay that right across the top. Um, I like to put one thick washi with all of my budget kits. Um, so the budget, the debt tracker, sinking fund, transaction, weekly check-in, paycheck to paycheck. I like to use it for all of those. Um, you definitely don't have to. You can just, you know, use the scripts and put it at the top header. It is whatever you want to do. They are completely customizable when you get them about how you can use them or how you can lay them down, um, where you lay them down at. That is all completely up to you. But this is just how I like to do it. So I like to put the income washi directly under 
that thick washi. Um, and then I have three different income sources. I have my full-time job, my part-time job, and then my online income. So one, two, three. So I'm going to put this total income washi just three lines down. And then next is the expense washi. And I'm trying to remember if I skip a space or... Nope. So I'm just going to go directly under that total income washi with the expense. And then I'm just going to bring the total expenses down here at the bottom. Oh, that is terribly crooked. The budget stickers that are non-foiled are on premium matte sticker paper, so they are removable, but the foil stickers that are on the clear glossy paper, they are not removable. So just a little tidbit of information there. Um, and then I'm going to take the total budgeted savings and actual savings Washi, washi and just go directly under that expenses with that one. And that's where I track that $80 that comes out every Friday. That's where I track that. So that is how my November budget's going to look. And then, um, like I mentioned, I like to take a pencil and just draw in the lines. That way, everything is nice and even when I go to actually write out my budget, which I will do in a separate video. But that way everything's even and I'm <coughs> writing in a straight line because you can, oops, I just wrote on that. You can tend to get a little crooked with your writing if you're not careful. And I know watching it on camera when someone starts to go crooked is kind of a little difficult for those with OCD. Okay, so there are my lines. That way I will write in a straight line. So that's November budget. Next over here, I like to do my debt tracker and sinking funds. So again, I'm going to take another thick washi and lay that down just right across the top. And we will start with the debt tracker. So I'm going to start on the debt tracker kit. So we're going to lay down the script and again you don't have to use the back washi. I just like the way that it makes my budget look. Then we're going to lay the smaller debt thin washi right underneath that thick washi, like so. And I have four debts. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and come put this totals on that fifth line there. Perfect. So that is the debt tracker. Now what I like to do is I like to separate um, I'll show you guys what I did here in October. I like to separate the debt and the sinking fund tracker. Find where we're at here. Um, with a couple different small washies from the thin washi kit. Again, this, you do not have to do it. It's just personal preference. I like to do it. So I'm going to use... Um, this one here. So we'll lay that one down first, and then I'm going to use one of the solid color strips. And I think, let's see, I'm going to use this one just because my sinking funds color is that. That way I have one of all three colors to kind of separate out the uh, color pattern here a little bit. There we go. So then again, 
I come in with another thick washi. I'm going to lay that right below that solid colored thin washi and then this one will be my sinking funds. So that is this kit here. And just like the debt tracker, we're just going to lay down the sinking fund script header. Then we'll come in with our sinking funds thin washi. I absolutely love all of these colors together. They're neutral, but they still have a little bit of color in them. They're super cute. And then I have, I think, 10 sinking funds, but I'm going to double check myself. I'll just put it at the bottom like I did there so we don't have to count it out. I'll just put it right there. That way I know I have enough lines. I think I have 10 sinking funds, but just in case. So that is, so there's my debt tracker and then my sinking funds section. We're going to flip the page and... This is going to be for transactions. This side over here will be for the weekly check-in. So we'll start with the transactions page. Get this thick washi laid down. And the transactions kit is super simple. It's just the script header and then the transactions thin washi and that is all you need for the transactions page um, and then all of your monthly transactions would go down there then we'll flip that over and do our weekly check-in so this is the third um, thick washi kit that I'm using. So get this down. And so with, <clears throat> with the weekly check-in, you would obviously use however many um, of the strips for however many months or we weeks there are in the month. Oop, I forgot to put the script down. We'll start here first. Um, so with November, there's four weeks in the month. So we're going to use the first four. Like last month, October, there were five weeks. There we go. Um, so then I do, let's see here, I think I'm going to skip four lines in between to account for my gas, groceries, spending, I'm going to skip five. We'll do gas, grocery, spending, sinking funds, and unbudgeted. So one, two, three, four, five. So then we'll come in with week two. And not saying that I use sinking funds every week or that I use unbudgeted every week, but that way I have, I have them down if I need them. And again, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Lay that one down. One, two, three, four, five. Lay week four down. Now when you have five weeks in the month, you have to be a little creative with the weekly check-in. I then can normally only do four lines in between. And then if I do have an unbudgeted or a sinking fund or both of them, then I have to be creative with what I have to do next. I'll just put this, I'm going to put it down here. Okay, so that is our weekly check-in. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one of the paycheck to paycheck uh, budget kits just so you guys can see what it looks like and so I can use this last thick washi. So we're going to, again, lay down your thick washi at the top for a nice script background. And then, so this is obviously going to be paycheck one, but if I was 
in like so when I do the next one for the second week I will do paycheck and then I'll use the number two sticker so you use whatever sticker is for the week that you're in uh, so I always do my income sticker directly under the thick washi at the top there and then in my paycheck to paycheck budgets I only calculate two different income sources rather than the three that I do for my monthly budget so I'm gonna come in with the total income two lines after that and then I like to do my expenses here on the left side and I think it's ten lines that I skip but I better double check myself seven so we have one two three four five six seven so we'll lay this totals on the eighth and then I like to do cash envelopes down here I'm trying to see if I have enough lines if I skip one in between um, I have three cash envelopes I have uh, gas groceries and spending and then my paycheck breakdown will go so I'll need one, two, three, four. I'll put this right here. And especially this kit, you know, you don't have to use all the little washies or the big washies. Um, and you can lay them out however you want to, depending on what ones you end up utilizing. And you can lay them out in any format that you want to. It's a completely customizable kit. You can use them how you need to use them. Okay, sinking funds I have. Let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, well that worked out perfect. It's going right next to my cash envelopes. So there's that. And then I am going to use these savings because like I had mentioned when I was doing my um, monthly overview that I have been putting aside $80 out of every paycheck for savings. I already have my emergency fun saved up but I just wanted to add a little extra to it um, so I've been doing that since September so there we go a little area there so that is what my paycheck to paycheck budget will look like I'll have my income up here expenses cash envelopes sinking funds savings and then my paycheck breakdown and then I will do that so this will be one two, three, four. So I'll have four weeks worth of paycheck to paycheck check-ins in this back here. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through and I will, once I get to November, I will move my little legend to the overview. But this is the overview um, for the month with all the super cute foil stickers that I love. And then we have November Budget, Debt Tracker, Sinking Funds, Transactions, Weekly Check-In, and then the Paycheck to Paycheck Budget. And again, this, um, this theme here is the neutral dot for November. I also have the Leaves Collection. Um, so this is the, the different theme for November. I used it for September, but you get the idea. So this is the different theme for November also. Um, both of them are available in my Etsy, or in my uh, Shopify shop, which is www 
www.morgyjune.com. You can get any of the stickers you see here. Um, and especially if you're interested in the new foil stickers that I have here, please check them out. I am so excited about it. I can't wait to start making them for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will come back here before too long and do another video where I am actually making out my budget, debt tracker, sinking funds, and all that fun stuff. Um, so be on the lookout for that video. And I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in, in my next video. Bye!